So hello everybody, welcome back. Hope everybody's had a good week so far. Before we get started, I hope you, everybody likes and subscribes to my channel. It really helped me out a lot. Today we're going to take a look at this German Panzer 1 S from A. This is from Hobby Boss and 135 scale. So here's our instruction sheet. Here we have our parts list. We have 15 sprues of plastic. And a photo etch and two decal sheets. So a lot of plastic for a little tank. I know the other one I built uh, wasn't that complicated. See number one, we start with building transmission and it it goes here in the front. And see this we have our our uh, drive pieces here. The bottom of the hull. And some pieces to put in there. Firewall here that goes in the back. Looks like. Then we put the sides on in the back. Got a seat to put in. And have these uh, hub covers here. And then number three, we're putting together the, the sprockets and the road wheels and the idler arm. Building the bogies. So we put the sprocket and these the bogies on. There's also a spring that goes back here. We have support rollers and a cover that goes over these bogies. Then we put the track on. And here number five then we have the fenders and the front plate here. And also these, it looks like fuel tanks here. And then number six, we're building the engine. Looks like it's a pretty detailed engine. Number seven, we put the engine in. We have a couple of, of pipes that go on there. And here there's some ammo racks that go around here. Number eight, uh, then we have the top of the hole here that goes on. Uh, it looks like a, an engine grill that goes back here and a couple of pieces that go uh, around these engine parts here. And there's here, well, pre-assembly, um, some parts that go inside uh, the, the top of the hull. Looks like radios and stuff. Another ammo rack. So you see number nine here, and then we're, we have the, uh, the back deck here. We have to build these two hatches. I believe these are the, the fuel fillers. Then we have this pre-assembly here too. This is convertible. Not really sure what it means by convertible, but um, it's just cutting the, the middle parts out and putting some PE in there. I guess that's what it means. It, it, you can have the plastic type or you can put the PE in there. And then here you have either the late version or the early version. That's two different parts, G2 and I1. But I guess uh, no matter which one you choose, you do the same things here, I guess. Doesn't really say, but I think so. Then here you have a couple of these parts that go on the bottom that we built up here. And these that go on the sides too for the exhaust. And then here, here on the bottom, we're building these exhaust pieces. Um, we put the exhaust in, put the back deck on with these doors, or these hatch, engine hatches, and now also the hatch in the front for the transmission. You have the vision block for the driver, and the ones on the sides here too, and here on the back as well. So number 10, we have uh, like these uh, tow hooks here that go to the front, a couple more details here in the front. Um, these engine, well, I think these are hatches for the air filters and the engine great engine hatch in the back and these fuel filler caps here. Then here we got more options for late, late version, which I think, oh I see. I guess this is the early version here with one. And here is two uh, fuel fillers it looks like. But the rest... I think is the same. 
the engine plates the same and these uh, the hatches are the same too. You can also have the oil cooler access hatch open and the engine access hatch open. And here we build the mud flaps for the front. And here we have some pre assemblies here. This is for the back plate, the mud flaps, a um, couple boxes here too, and lights, lights, and other little details that go on the back. And here with the, cal the cowls for the air intake and the air outlet. Smoke candle rack, I guess that would be like smoke grenades, it sounds like, I think. <laughs> Never heard it called that way. So then here we work on the turret. We have our guns. We have a mantle, put the guns in, and the, the gun tubes on. Building a seat here, put the seat in, put the, put the guns into the mantle part here, and then put the top of the turret on. And then we got some details, some hatches and uh, vision blocks and stuff around. And then the top hatch here. And our final step here, OVM, I don't even know what that means. And crowbar, headlight, um, the jack. Got late version or early version. These, uh, these pieces here. We have our our metal grates to go over the exhaust, shovels, axes. I guess OV, OVM is the uh, um, the tools and stuff. We call it something else. So, no tech. The no tech light. Here's the jack, shovel, painting, everything here. And it looks like we have uh, quite a few versions we can build here. Uh, third company, second battalion. Uh, Panzer Abteilung. ZBV-40 in Norway, the Polish campaign, the 5th Light Division North Africa. Then we also have the Polish, Polish campaign in North Africa again here. With different decal sheets, there's two different decal sheets here. So we, we got two decal sheets here. Let's see how this is for like the first versions it shows. I've never seen yellow crosses on a German tank. Don't know. But there's also a Spanish flag there. So this is bestemp from so this is probably this must be from the Spanish Civil War type. You also have the normal white crosses, the cross outline, some numbers. And this is just a uh, Complementary, uh, another set of the solid crosses with more numbers. And another set of the outline ones. But they look good. Nice looking decals and good colors. So this little tank has a lot of sprues. Of course, we'll start here with sprue A. You see this has our bogey parts on it. Also, some of the flaps. It's mostly just bogey parts. We have a couple of the um, towing hooks, uh, towing, where you put the towing shackles. A couple of the small parts. When you look at the detail on those uh, the bogey arms, they look pretty good. There's a large pin mark here on the inside, though. But that shouldn't be much of a problem. The inside's hidden. It's going to be tight in there. Then next we have sprue B. And you can see these parts don't kind of come in order. As, like, building order. It's like sprue B is then we're on the turret. And that comes near the end. And you have your turret top, your turret bottom. Is the metal in the where the guns go? One of the hatches, jack, some more detail parts around there. You see the top of the turret 
has some good detail on it, like those little hinges there. These blocks. And on the some good detail on this gun part too. And the hatch looks really good. Jack looks good too. Some large pin marks on the inside. It's kind of weird this doesn't have a lot of internal like turret detail although it has so much detail in the hole but I think we have to take care of those pin marks anyways if you want to leave the hatch open especially the thing sticking up there and we have spruce C once again it's like a mix of parts pretty much I need some of the internal parts here like with the I'm not sure if it's with the engine or the transmission, but it's part of the inside. And these are some bulkheads inside, I'm pretty sure. Here's the external part. And the exhauster here, too. And see here, there's some good, some good heads on those around here. The exhausts aren't really anything special. And good bolt heads here, too. And this looks nice. And good detail here as well. The tools look okay. Then here we have uh, two, two times sprue D. He says this is our road wheels and everything. Running gear, parts, sprocket. Idler arm, road wheels, support rollers, springs. Um, this is also a part that goes under there. And these are some of the vision blocks. And some more of this little detail parts there. I think the road loop wheels look pretty good. And the sprocket looks good too. Once again on the back of the... The back of the uh, sprocket here we got pin marks. Back of the spring is a pin mark. Next we have sprue E. This is a bigger sprue. You can see all our lower hole is here, the bottom and the sides. Pretty sure that's the back of it too. We have our in part of the insides. We've got a lot of the engine parts, transmission parts here too. And flaps for the front, I think, for the front. Here's a plate too. So a whole lot of detail parts here too. You look at the uh, there's some good detail here on the hull, on the sides as well. Good detail there. Nice looking parts, really. Just a pin, some pin marks that got to be taken care of on some of the parts. Then we have sprue G. Here's the top, uh, the front of the top of the hull. You can see there's a hatch here. This is the back hatch for the engine. Some of the hatches too here. Engine got, uh, grill. Unfortunately, it's not like a real vent. It's closed off. I wish they would always have them molded open like the vents, you know, like it should be. Not a solid piece. I think the hatches here look good. I think the, the back deck here has some really good detail on it. The, the, the hole as well. Next sprue is sprue I. And here we have our transmission. Our transmission parts, internal parts. There's, an, there's our early back deck here. The one on the other was for the later version. This is for the early version. I think this is for the early version as well. There's lots, lots of detail parts here. 
see there's very little flash on the parts. There's a little bit on the on the sprue, but it, there's nothing bad. You can see there's some really good detail on these parts. Really, really looks nice. Our next sprue, sprue I. We got our fenders here. We have our guns here. At least the uh, in internal parts of the guns. Ammunition is here. Lots of little detail parts too. It's like a very well detailed kit. Now, I think the fenders look good. The bottom of the fenders, lots of pin marks. It's flat and a lot of pin marks there. I think these gun parts look good here. A whole lot of little details. Then we have a uh, two times sprue K. Looks like more road wheels and idler wheel in these rings. And a couple other little parts here. These are the muzzles for the cannons. I wish they would do like dragging sometimes. Well, they do black out the parts that aren't used, but these look like most of them are used. Only through two cannon muzzles, not. The rest is used. You see the road wheels have good detail. Nothing much to say about the rings. These guns we won't use. I guess the guns we use are somewhere else. And then there's also three screws of track. They're labeled as sprue T. Lots of little track pieces, so it's all single piece, you see. And they look pretty good, I think. Then there's also a little sprue with a uh, clear sprue. It has some vision blocks on it and as well as some lights. Nothing so much to say about that really. They look good. It's really nice and clear. And the last sprue is a photo etch sprue. Which this light's going to be too much for this for the photo etch. You see there's uh, just some grills on it. And some details like little clamps and frames and stuff. So I think this model kit looks really good. It has a lot of good detail in it. it has a complete engine and a transmission. The, I mean, a complete interior for the hull. I think there's some stuff missing on the inside of the turret, though. Um, like, there's detail around the bottom of the turret, but nothing like on the top or anything. I mean, underneath on the top, on the sides, it looks pretty bare. But there's uh, around the around the the, the turret the base of the turret there's detail and stuff like the ammo and everything. But I still it's going to turn out into a really nice looking kit. And I thought the other uh, Panzer one that I built was really good too. You can see that on a short. I got shorts of all my models that I built. I also do some normal ones of reviews of them too. So thanks for watching everybody. Please like and subscribe. And join me next time we're going to take a look at this Churchill Mark 7 from Tamaya in 135 scale. Until then, bye.